Okay, what I'm thinking is here is I'm going to come out of this plug as my source of fire to run the other plug over there. And I'm just going to go right into it here and see what's here. I would also like to eliminate this funny looking round thing that's right here. Um, on the other wall they had one of those and there was really no purpose for it being there. Uh, I guess they were, I don't know, maybe they didn't like the way the hole around the plaster looked. They didn't know how to fix the plaster. They thought this was easier. Or maybe they, you know, it might be like this box is in here a little deeper than it should be. And maybe the box just didn't line up with the wall and rather than fix that they plastered it all up. But uh, it would be kind of nice to get rid of this. It, in, anyway, you look at it, that's a pretty funky looking thing to have on your wall there. So if we can do away with that we can. The first thing I'm going to do is just pull this plug out and uh, see what we got as far as, uh, as far as whether I can just come off of it and get to a uh, get to a power source to go from there. Alright, this is the uh, this is the old style plug, the kind that has little screw in hickeys on it rather than uh, some of the new ones have it where you can stick a, uh, a wire right directly into the back of it. This one doesn't have that option. Uh, so, that's easy enough. I can attach another wire to each side of this, run it back out through that box and kind of go from there. Let's get this thing off of here. Get the can. plaster and that's fixable and uh, that box is mounted a little bit wrong but that's workable that's I can work around that too this doesn't look like it's going to be that difficult um, I will poke a hole in the back of here and head right straight out with my wire I should work out this far okay what I'm going to do is I want uh, I want my wire to come in through the hole on the back side of this and there's nothing behind this but insulation. So what I'm going to do is stick this piece through it. I'll attach my wire to that and then pull it through. That should work. And uh, basically all I'm doing is kind of slipping that in there through a bunch of insulation and stuff. When it comes out the other side, I should be able to go behind the wall and find it. And that's my thinking anyway. Attach my wire to it and pull it back through. Should work out. We'll go see if it works like that. Actually, I'll just bring you along with me. We'll go back in the dark side of the house here, and uh, I'll show you, show you where I'm going and what I'm looking for. Okay, here we are. I can see the wire it goes up into that other box. So I should have that wire that I just poked out of there. Yeah, here it is right here. See it? Can you see it? You got enough light to see it? It's stuffed in the insulation here. Right there. Now what I should be able to do is I'll trim these up. In fact, I may cut them all off except one wire and then run these back and then pull that right back through there. Might as well show you this part too. This is my wire and basically all I'm going to do is I uh, should be able to cut a hole in the top of this and just start pulling it right out. Keep in mind, I think I've said this before, but I want to make it really clear, I'm not an electrician, so don't consider this advice on how to do anything. I'm just showing you just showing you what I'm doing. I'm a homemade do-it-yourself, fix-it-up kind of guy, you know, but I am not an electrician. 
I don't pretend to be giving any kind of advice to anybody on how to do anything. So there's that. Because I don't want y'all to go electrocute yourselves. Electricity is deadly. And uh, so y'all don't get yourselves electrocuted just because you watched the video that I did. Okay, okay. Okay, I want to make sure to say this. This is not a hot wire. This is the wire that I just picked up off the floor. Uh, and all I'm going to do is skin back a little piece of this new wire and attach these two ends together. Hopefully pull it right back through that hole. That'd be, uh, that'd be a beautiful thing. Let's see if it works that way. You know, probably the easier thing would be to get a little bit of tape because that would reduce the likelihood that whatever I twist together is gonna to tangle up. I don't know, but I got a nice little long piece of this ground wire here. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that ground wire. That's the third ground. And I'm just gonna wrap it around that. Kind of snug. Just because by the time I get out of here and go find some tape, if I can do this, I can have it done and be out of here quicker than I can go locate a roll of tape. So let's just see if that works. And if it don't work, while I'm out there, I'll go find me some tape, and I'll make that work. So, okay then. I can almost feel that from here. Maybe I can just push it right through. That would be cool. You know, I think I'll do that instead. I think I'll take off that little piece of wire that I have on there and just see if I can push this end right through that hole. Because I can see it. I should be able to do that. I mean, the wire helped me find it, but I don't think it's necessary to have to pull that through. Sometimes you have to pull something through when you, when you, when you can't see it, but I think I can do this. I'll just put that right through there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go in the house and find out where I want my next plug to be, drill a hole, and uh, cut a place in my box, and then stick something through where I can find it. Run this wire from this plug to that one. What I'm doing is actually tapping into my power source on the back side of this plug-in and taking it over there where I'll go back through the wall and uh, make another plug-in. That's how we're going to do that. Okay, here we are, and here's the wire that I pulled through, and here's the one I was using to pull it through. So I'm just going to leave this alone, and I'm going to go over there, kind of get my measurement, figure out where I want my next hole. Probably cut that with a roto tool, uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, that's the uh, hole where my box is going to be mounted right there and I went ahead and stuck a piece of wire through there so I can go on the back side and find it and uh, you know feed another piece of wire back in. Let me say this, if this was a regular sheetrock wall you couldn't do what I just did. All I did was drill a hole in this thing, stick the box in and I'm going to shoot some screws into it but this wall has logs behind it. When the plaster is uh, plastered over the logs uh, 
The sheetrock wall would have studs and you would need to find a stud and find something to support the box. Of course they do make boxes that you can put on a sheetrock wall without hitting a stud. Uh, I can't, I don't see one. I know I've got some in my collection over here. So, but it depends on the kind of box you got and how you're mounting it. For the way I'm mounting that box, that's just about right. But I, I just want to say that so that somebody wouldn't punch a hole in your sheetrock and think you can hang a box right onto it. Because unless you got the right kind of box, that wouldn't work. Okay, let's give it the test. plug in the other room I'm gonna go test it and see if I got power in there if I do I'm gonna call that good and then I'm gonna go up to the little local restaurant and have some breakfast and we'll come back and see what else we can get into but while I was doing this anyway I just thought it'd be good to have a plug in here so I went ahead and mounted one up um, interestingly enough I had an old plug that someone had cut out of a house so the whole thing was already mounted in a box and everything all I had to do is connect the wires. If this all hooked up right inside, then it should be good. We'll see in about a minute if it is. That works. And that works. So we got uh, we got three new plugins, and uh, I'll re tuck this here insulation around these wires and. Uh, and we should be just about good to go. I think I'll bring some more insulation in later and stuff in around that.